Hello, my name is Jacob. Today's short practice is focusing on neck and shoulders. For this, you will need a strap, or you could use also a towel or a belt. Try to avoid anything that's stretchy. So we're gonna start in our practice sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Take a moment to center, to check in with the body, to observe the mind. And we'll deepen our breath. With the eyes closed, bring your hands to a prayer. We'll do one big breath to the heart. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Slowly opening the eyes. We'll start with a little bit of mobility in the shoulders. So we're pinching the shoulder blades together and then bringing the shoulders forward. Or you can inhale, lift the chest, arch the low back, pinch the shoulder blades, and exhale, bring the shoulders forward. You might need to slide a little bit forward if you're sitting in a chair. You can also do this practice, practice sitting down cross-legged or sitting on a block. Let's keep moving those shoulders back and forward. We're always working within our mobility range. So if you're dealing with injury or, for example, arthritis, maybe your movement is a little bit smaller than mine. We'll do about three more of those. Very good. And we'll come to neutral, sit up tall. And then you're looking over your shoulder as much as you can. Notice I'm not turning my chest, just my head. And now back to center. Let's look over to the next side. And back to center. Let's do that one more time each side. Looking over as much as you can, still breathing deeply. Inhale, you're coming back to center, and exhale, next side. Inhale, back to center. So we're gonna do some neck warming and strengthening. Placing the hand to the temple and the action of the head is trying to look to the side as we just did, but the hand stops it from moving. We're using about 40% of your strength, so not all of your strength. And so I'm trying to look over my shoulder, the hand resists. We're holding this for about five seconds. And release, changing sides. I'm trying to look over my shoulder, but my hand resists. And release, let's do that one again. So we're coming back to this first side, trying to look over the shoulder, hand resists. Now, if you find these useful, you might want to incorporate these into your daily practice or repeat the amount of numbers you're doing it. Maybe instead of just two sets, you could do five sets. Very good. We're gonna go with a few more of these kind of strengthening exercises. We'll place the hands to the forehead now, and as if you're trying to bring your forehead forward, but the hand resists. So activating the front neck muscles. And release, we'll weave the fingers together into a fist, place the hand underneath your chin, and try to bring your chin down as the hands push up. Again, we're not using all of our strength. And let's repeat that again. So hand comes to the top of the head, push up as the hands pull down. And release, hands as fists, bring them underneath the chin, bring the chin down. And 
exhale, release. We're placing the hand to the side of the temple again. Similar action, but now we're trying to bring the ear towards the shoulder and the hand resist. So here I go, try to bring the ear down and the hand holds me back. About three breaths here. And release, changing sides. Trying to bring the ear towards the shoulder, the hand resists. And we'll do a second set. Again, you're welcome to do more sets if this feels good for your, your body or to repeat this more on a regular daily practice. If you're dealing with bulging discs, herniated discs, this might be beneficial for you. And changing sides. Make sure you're not looking over the shoulder but bringing the ear towards the shoulder. Very good, and release. This next one I very much like. Placing the finger to the chin, and you're pulling your chin straight back, trying to create double chins. You're not dropping or lifting the chin, it's straight back. I'll give you the side profile so you can see what's going on. The finger's there to guide, I'm pulling back. And then release. You don't have to stick the chin out, just come back to something neutral. Again, pulling back. The hand's just there for a guide. If you figured out this movement, you can release the hand. And exhale, release. We're going to do about eight more of those. So some nice good head retractions, create those double chins. And release. A lot of us tend to have head forward for most of our day, so this is a nice corrective movement. Let's do about five more. Alright, so let's come into using our towel or strap now. You're placing the, the strap to the back of the neck, just where neck starts to turn into shoulder, so the lower cervical spine. And you're pre pulling the strap slightly forward or slightly upwards, not a lot of strength, just a little bit of resistance. And with this we're gently rocking the chin up and down. We'll do that five times, not really cranking the head too high. Just lifting the gaze slightly. This is pushing the vertebrae forward and the disc forward. And what we're going to do now is slide that towel or strap up about an inch, a little higher up the neck. And again, I'm lifting and dropping the chin. Now all of these movements and exercises and stretches are suggested. So if you find you're having a bad neck day and this is too much, you could keep it far more gentle or leave it out. I move it up another inch and rocking it back and forth. We're going to do about two more increments further up the neck. If you're already to the base of the skull, you can come back down lower and work some of those areas you missed. So again, I move it up another inch, rocking up and down five times. And let's do one more, draw that up a little higher. And last one, so I'm at the base of the skull, rocking it up and down. Wonderful. All right, we'll place the strap back to the side and come into some stretches now. Let's drop our right ear to right shoulder and relax the weight of the head. It might take a few breaths for you to be able to relax the shoulders and the head. And inhale back to center. We're coming to the next side. Drop the head to the next side. I'm noticing I'm feeling tighter on this side today. Still breathing. And inhale back to center. We're coming back to the first side. Drop the right ear towards the right shoulder, release the weight of the head, and then we're slowly rocking the ear back in space behind the shoulder and in front. 
We'll do that about four more times. Rock it back. And forward. Rock it back. And forward two more times. Very good. Coming back to center. We're dropping the left ear to left shoulder. And first thing we want to do is just release the weight of the head. And let's rock the ear back. And forward. We'll do that about four more times. Very good. So we're going to drop the right ear to right shoulder. The left hand is either reaching around and catching your chair if you're sitting in a chair or pushing down into the ground if you're sitting down or pushing into a block if you can't reach. We're reaching around with the right hand, dropping right ear to right shoulder. I'm not pulling with this top arm, I'm just using the weight of the head, creating traction by pulling down with the left arm, shoulder drops. Neck muscles are fragile and small, so we don't want to push it too much. Inhale, coming back to center. We'll change sides. Reach around with the left hand. Right hand roots down or catches your chair. Drop left ear to left shoulder. Draw the right shoulder down. And inhale, coming back up. Let's do that one again. So we reach around with the right hand, root down to the left hand, and drop the right ear to the right shoulder. One more deep inhale. Let's come back to center. We're changing sides. Root down through the right hand, drop the left ear to left shoulder. And inhale, coming back up. This next stretch is similar, but we're targeting more the back trapezius here. So we'll do that by bringing the left hand to left shoulder blade. You're looking more to your right, so I'm more of a 45 degree angle here. Bring the right hand to the back of the head. So rather than towards the temple, more to the back of the head. You're dropping your chin towards your neck and looking towards the right hip. Drop the left, or draw the left shoulder back. Again, the target area is this muscle here. Inhale, coming back to center. We're changing sides, so right hand comes to right shoulder blade. You're looking on a 45 degree angle to the left. Left hand comes to the back of the head, and then dropping the chin, we draw the right shoulder back. Release the weight of the head. Don't pull with the arms. The activity would be drawing the right shoulder back here and releasing. And inhale, coming back up. So nice, let's do it twice. Left hand to shoulder blade. Bring the right hand to the back of the head. Turn on an angle, drop the head down. Left elbow back. Inhale, we'll come back up, changing side, right hand to the shoulder blade, look over towards the left, left hand to the back of the head, drop the chin. Keep drawing the right shoulder back. And inhale, coming back up. We'll stretch the front of the neck muscles now. 
you're placing your hand on your clavicle, this little bone here, and pressing into the chest and pulling the flesh down to create traction. We'll look in opposite direction to the hand and point the chin up, keeping the, chin, the teeth closed. And release. We'll change sides again, bringing the hand to the clavicle, pull it down, and then look in the opposite direction, point the chin up. And inhale, let's come back up. We'll do that one, one more time. Hand to the collarbone, pull the flesh down slightly, look in the opposite direction, point the chin up. And we'll change sides. Place the hand to the collarbone, pull it down, look in the opposite direction, point the chin up. And inhale back to center. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Nice big shoulder rolls, up and back. Don't forget down and forward. Make those shoulder rolls as big as you can, but also always working with, with the range that feels safe in your body. As I'm doing this, I'm noticing one shoulder is a little more mobile. One shoulder has a little more clicks and pops in it than the other. And we'll change directions. We're coming to stillness. Place your hands on your thighs or by your side. Sit up as tall as you can. Close your eyes. Put the head in line with the spine. So probably pulling the head back just a little. Relax the shoulders. Focus on the breath. Bring the hands once again to prayer position and we'll close our practice with a juicy breath to the heart. Come to the bottom of your exhale. Inhale as deeply as you can. And exhale, send out that love. Slowly open your eyes. I hope your neck and shoulders feel a little bit better from this quick sequence. Enjoy your day. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, click on that red subscription button just below and you'll get to see them. If you feel like you'd like to support financially, there is a PayPal link in the description below. Thank you for your support.